Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. Weather-wise, if they're getting a jump on that, shouldn't have any issues. It's going to be dry. It's going to be warm today as well as high pressure sits on top of us. And as it starts to move eastbound, we're going to get more of a south to southwesterly breeze into the valley. And that's going to really boost our temps. Still seeing a little haze on the horizon from the White Rose City as we glance eastbound. That's thanks to some of that uh, residual smoke in the atmosphere. Thanks to those wildfires well to our north and west and with the Wind pattern the way it is upstairs in the atmosphere that's continuing to get ushered down into the region and I think eventually it will improve some as we head through the next uh, couple of days. Super Doppler 8 really not showing too much out there whatsoever with this high on top of us. Just a little bit of higher cloud cover starting to filter our way. That'll be the case over the next couple of days ahead of our next storm system. We're at 68 degrees in Lewistown. We have the lower to middle 70s out to our west from Gettysburg up through Carlisle. It is now 72 in the capital city, also sitting in the lower 70s in Lancaster. Our forecast keeps us in Lancaster as we jump up into the upper 70s and lower 80s later on today. Well above normal for uh, this time of May. Overnight, we'll see a starry sky, just a few clouds from time to time. 54 to 58 with that light southwesterly breeze. Then tomorrow, we'll start with some sunshine. Then we'll start to increase the clouds throughout the afternoon with highs even warmer in the lower to middle 80s. Going to feel like summer out there. Still could have some fiery sunsets tonight with that uh, smoke in the atmosphere and maybe a, still a fiery sunrise tomorrow and some of that haze throughout the remainder of our day with that smoke upstairs. Should have really little impact on air quality, but still some spots could have uh, some minor impact. So if you're sensitive to that sort of thing, may want to be aware of that. If you're heading out to check out the Bears in the playoffs tonight as they take on Hartford, temperatures going to be really nice as you're heading out to the game. I'm thinking right around 78 with temperatures falling back into the upper 60s as you're heading on home. Timing things out on predictor through the remainder of our Friday Eve, seeing lots of sun through the evening drive. No issues there. Seeing the starry conditions through the overnight with temperatures back into the uh, 50s. It'll be a mild night and then throughout our day tomorrow, here come some of those higher clouds and we'll continue to see those throughout the morning filtering in and more so by the afternoon with temperatures you can see back into the middle 80s. So a really warm Friday for uh, this time of the year. Then the showers are moving in Friday night into Saturday on the News 8 Storm Team 10 day forecast. Temperatures going to get knocked back a bit back into the middle 70s. We're cooler for Mother's Day, but should be a OK for you and mom, if you're heading out for maybe a little brunch or a little lunch, we're back into the uh, 60s on Monday with another round of showers possible. And then we start to climb back the other way. We're back into the 70s and eventually 80 once again there, Susan, by the end of this coming work week.